It's real to run with cars and cribs and I'm back with another one. Today, we're in Waukegan, Illinois. We have a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, just about 2,270 square feet for only $190,000. Before we go inside, you guys wanna make sure you do the steps. Step number one, you're gonna check the perimeters and check the foundation outside of the home to make sure there's no big cracks. Step number two, you're gonna go in the basement. You're gonna do the smell test and you're going to check the inside of the foundation to make sure there's no big cracks in there as well. Step number three, you're going to check the mechanics. Let's take a look at your neighborhood. But you let love run by you. I need a different position. You chase a different commission. I know you don't need permission. I don't expect you to listen. I don't expect you to listen. I'll see you guys when we get inside. As you come in the side door, the first thing you're gonna run into is the family room. This is where the family is going to chill. You're gonna put your TV in here, maybe a couch, an L couch, or just a nice little sofa, or this will kind of be like where the kids kind of play a little bit. But you don't want them playing, them playing too much. You know, they start messing up these brand new painted walls and all that stuff. So you guys wanna make sure you watch out for that. And then we're gonna roll right into the kitchen area. The kitchen has nice dark cabinets, laminate countertops. Check that water pressure. Has great water pressure, stainless steel stove, as well as a huge stainless steel fridge. One thing I'll probably do is probably just change the hardware on these cabinets. It looks kind of old, but just put some new ones. You go to all Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Menards, Get that, spend about 20 bucks and fix that. Then we're gonna roll right into the bathroom. I just wanna first start off by saying, look at this floor, it's very unique, very exclusive. I've never seen a floor like that before. And then to your right, you have a stand-up shower. And then they have toweling on the walls, which looks very nice. It actually look newer. Yeah, nice toilet right here. Now we're gonna roll right over here to, I gotta take my shoes off. Cause you see right there, it says no shoes. They just did the floors. So I gotta take those off. Let's roll right into the dining room area. Real hardwood floors, brand new paint. This is where you're gonna put a very nice size family table. You can fit, put an eight person table right here with no problems. Nice little chairs. You can go ahead and throw you a TV right here. If the family like to watch TV while they're eating everything. And we have like, kind of like a built-in china cabinet. Put you some dishes and everything in there. Very, very nice size. Oh, it's actually on both sides. Then we're gonna run into, this is not Florida, this is Illinois, but in this place we have a sunroom. Just in case you wanna catch some sun. And I really, really like the wood paneling. It's very nice, this is not no cheap panel, this is like the real deal. And it has a heater in here. You can sit in here, chill, read you some books, watch YouTube, play Call of Duty, whatever you wanna do in here. Go ahead and close that. Again, four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, 2,270 square feet for only $190,000. And it has a fireplace right in the living room. Very, very nice size. You can go ahead and throw the TV up here or you can you know, put it on this wall. And then you have a nice, nice, two nice shelves right here where you can put like the family photos and all that stuff right in there. The living room is actually pretty big. You can go with the L couch. You can go with just a big chair. I mean, room galore, you pick. And then when people come in, they can throw their coats and everything right in here. Very nice living room. This, this, this wood floor is very, very nice. <clears throat> now, we're gonna head upstairs to the four bedrooms. As soon as you come up the stairs, the first thing you're gonna notice is this beautiful hardwood floor. Whoever put that shine on there, that polish, whoever polished that, did an extraordinary job. 
right across from the stairs, you're gonna run into bathroom number two. As you guys can see, look at the floor. Exclusive. Then, the one thing I would change in here would be this vanity. Well, not even the vanity, you can just change the top of the vanity. The cabinets doesn't look bad. They have nice modern hardware on there. Just change this countertop, you're good to go. As far as the wood paneling, I will for sure leave that. It adds a lot of character to the restroom. Toilet, very nice. Shower. Let me take that water pressure. Shower's in decent shape. I don't know why they put the towel rack right there, but hey. Then we have the linen closet with the flowers in here. Which is just something you can change, but you, I mean, not many people is gonna be in linen closet anyway, so that really doesn't even matter. Let's go into room number one, which is a very nice size. We have the real hardwood floors in here, brand new paint. Honestly, you can put a king size bed in here. You shouldn't have any issues. King size, you can put the end tables back there. You put the TV here. You can put a dresser over here if you would like to. Um, I probably would go the other way. You don't want to block the heat so you can get you some heat. And don't you know how we have the sunroom downstairs? If you don't want to be down there, you can be right here. Wham! You can go out here and catch some real sun. You can put your real in right there. Be up there chilling. Remember how they were sitting on Set It Off? Have y'all watched that movie before? Comment below and let me know if you've seen Set It Off. Closet space. Closet space is well above average. You can get you a kit or honestly, this doesn't even look bad. One more thing that I would change to kind of modernize the house a little bit, just the door handles. That's all you need to do. Go to his hardware, Home Depot, whatever. Get that. Then we have another closet right here. Very nice size space. If you can't fit all everything in the linen closet, you put some more stuff out here. This room is enormous. Look at those floors, man. That thing is glistening. Honestly, if you have kids that's going to share a room, I mean, you do have four bedrooms, but if you have more than, you know, you can for sure make this a two person room. You can put two queens in here. Queen there, queen there. Put the TV right there. Throw them a dresser right here. They can have the end tables. They can have the whole nine in this room. This room is huge. I'm guessing this may be the master suite. It also has a very nice closet. Now, the way they have it set up, I probably would change that and go ahead and get you the kit from Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Menard. Set the whole thing, or, or you can go to Ikea too. You can set up, kind of, you know, customize how you want to set it up right in there. Very nice space though. Is y'all tired of seeing all these rooms? There's plenty of them. Plenty of them. Room number three. Room number three is smaller than room number two and number one, but it's not a bad size room. Let's be clear about that. It can fit a queen size bed in here with the dresser and the TV. You definitely can fit that in there. Closet space. Now about this closet, that's a, I mean, it's not the biggest, but guess what? If you get the kit, it's gonna space everything out. You put that kit in here, or matter of fact, you could put some more shelves in here too if you want to just throw you up. You see this shelf, throw your shelf right there. You know, or you know, line them up through the whole wall. Whatever you wanna do. Last but not least, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys one more thing. This house does have a two and a half car garage and the garage is very high. So if you have like, if you're a mechanic or something, you wanna put a lift in a garage, bam, this the one. Last but not least, room number four. Room number four is bigger than room number three for sure. Probably the same size as room number two. No, room number one, sorry about that. You can go king size bed in here. Throw the TV right here, wham. Put your dresser right there or right there, whichever one you prefer. Throw you some end tables in here. And this does come with a bathroom with brand new flooring and brand new paint with the laminate on the walls right there. Very nice touch. And then this one has a walk-in closet, which is pretty big. 
I wouldn't do nothing to the walk-in closet. Leave it just like that. Space out everything. You can put the shoes and all that right here. Throw your coat, jeans, shirts, and all that. And we have a bonus. It's kind of dark up here, but let's go up. And now we're in the attic. As you guys can see, there's plenty of space in here. Me personally, I would definitely finish this. This can be an added room. Or if you don't want to have another room, you can make it a storage. You can store Christmas trees and all that stuff up here. But this is a very nice size space. And a teenager, a teenager kid, they would love this up here. They would love this. If it was me, I would love it up here. You got your little windows in here too, just in case you get hot. So it's definitely, definitely a very nice add-on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, four bedroom, two and a half bathroom, walking in Illinois, has a full basement, has a two and a half car garage, 2,270 square feet for only $190,000. Oh yeah, look up there. Look at the yard. That's just a little piece. And it's another little piece right here. You put the trampoline and all that stuff right back there. That's the garage I was telling you guys about. For anyone who's looking to buy or sell any property, you can always email me at romeshousereviews at gmail.com. Also, if you like this video, if you like houses, if you like cars, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit that thumbs up. It's real Tyrone, and I'm gone.